Shalom Israel, Most High in Christ bless, Most High in Christ bless you all. I am Captain Amazai. With me today I have Officer Elkana. Officer Elkana. Today we're going to talk about a Christian topic, another scripture Chris has used to justify their, their unhealthy, unlawful eating habits. Every creature of God is good and nothing Nothing to be refused. You could eat anything. Crab, shrimp, lobster, pork, hands, feet, <laughs> human hands, uh, uh, what else? Alligator, crocodiles. You could eat bugs, anything. Why? Because a Christian says every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused. So let's get into that scripture right now, and we're going to break it down and show you that's not what it's talking about. First Timothy chapter 4 and verse 4. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 4. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused. That's what a Christian always going to hit you with. You tell, a, you tell a brother or sister, hey, you know you shouldn't be eating pork. We shouldn't be eating crab, shrimp, lobster. That's not what the Lord gave us. They go to this scripture in the New Testament right here, not knowing that Paul is not talking about crab, shrimp, and lobster. Okay? Let's go to Genesis chapter 1, verse 20. We're going to read verse 20 through 25. Let's go. Genesis chapter 1, verse 20. And God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life. The moving creature that have life. And fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. And the fowls of the heaven. So fish in the ocean and, and different um, species of fish in the ocean and different species of birds in the sky. Okay, go ahead. And God created great whales and every living creature that moveth, uh -huh. which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind. So whales, dolphins, snapper fish, bass, catfish, all kinds of different fish. After their kind, the Most High brought forth. Go ahead. And every winged fowl after his kind. Uh, eagles. Uh, what else they got? Chickens. Chickens, different birds, right? After their kind. Go ahead. And God saw that it was good. Uh, and and what, what God say? And God saw that it was good. And God saw that these animals were good. They were good. Okay? Read on. And God blessed them. He blessed them. Saying, be fruitful and multiply. So we got a, an abundance of different animals. Go ahead. And fill the waters in the seas. And let fowl multiply in the earth. Read. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. Read. And God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind. Uh-huh. Cattle. Cattle. And creeping things. And creeping things. And beast of the earth. And beast of the earth. After his kind. After, so now you got rhinoceros. You got cows. You got bulls. You got crocodile. You got all kinds of different animals now, right, on the, on the earth. Go ahead. And creeping thing. So that goes into your bugs, your insects. Go ahead. And it was so. And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind. Read. And cattle after their kind. Read. And everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. Read. And God saw that it was good. And God said this was good. Jump to verse 29. Verse 29. And God said, behold, I, giveth, I, I have given you every herb. Bearing seed. Every herb bearing seed. It's taught about the plant life. Go ahead. Which is upon the face of all the earth. Read. And every tree. And every tree. In the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. So what comes off the trees? Different fruit comes off the trees. For what? And keep reading. To you it shall be for meat. So it shall be what? For meat. It shall be for meat. For this is your food here. The vegetation on the earth. That is your food in the beginning. But wait a minute. We just read that all these creatures that God created were good. Right. And in 1 Timothy, the, first, the, the New Testament, it said every creature of God is good. But does that mean it's good for eating? So if that's good for eating, why did God only give us the dietary law of vegetation when he created, after he created these animals in verse 29? Oh, very strange. Let's now, look, we're going to jump to where... The diet was introduced. Well, our diet changed. Genesis 9 and 3. 
Let's stick in Genesis. So now we got the plant-based diet, right? Genesis 9 and 3. Genesis chapter 9, verse 3. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you. Read it again. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you. Every moving thing that lives shall be meat for you. Here now is the meat introduced into our diets. Now it's lawful to eat meat. Is it, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going to see if this is talking about um, uh, different unlawful animals. We're going to see. Keep going. Even as the green herb have Even I, as the green herb have I given you all things. Have, I have given you all things. Deuteronomy 12 and 15. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy 12 and 15. Deuteronomy. Chapter so now we got the meat introduced into our diets. Let's go. Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 15. Notwithstanding, uh -huh. thou mayest kill and eat flesh in all thy gates. Y'all can eat, you can kill and eat flesh in all your gates, wherever you, you dwell. Go ahead. Whatsoever thy soul lusteth after. Whatsoever thy soul lusteth after. Is that talking about unlawful animals? Is that talking about giraffe? Is it talking about I could cut off this brother's arm and, and roast it because his arm looked tasty with some barbecue sauce? Is that what that's talking about? There's meat in that arm, ain't it? Is it okay for me to roast his arm? No. Read. According to the blessing of the Lord According thy God. According to the blessing of the Lord. Read. Which he hath given thee. So the blessing of the Lord that he has given us. He has given us a dietary law. He has given us what's clean and unclean. Keep reading. The unclean and the clean may eat thereof. The unclean and the clean may eat thereof. Just the unclean person or the un and the clean person may eat thereof. Go ahead. As of the roebuck. As of the roebuck. That's a clean animal. And as of the heart. And as of the heart. Genesis 7 and 1. Let's go back to the book of Genesis. What was clean and what was unclean? Hmm. Genesis chapter 7. Verse 1. Read. And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark. Come thou and all thy house into the ark. Go ahead. For thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. Read. Of every clean beast. Of every clean beast, Noah. Thou shalt take to thee by sevens. Okay, no. Here's what I want you to do. Take seven of that clean animal right there. Go ahead. The male and his female. The male and the female. I want sevens. Go ahead. And of beasts that are not clean by two. Wait a minute. This is the book of Genesis chapter 7. How does Noah know what is clean and unclean? Because the law was in effect, brothers and sisters. That's how we know. Go ahead. The male and his female. Read. Of fowls also of the air by sevens. Uh -huh. The male and the female. To keep seed alive upon the face. To keep seed alive upon the face. Of all the earth. Of all the earth. Now go back to 1 Timothy chapter 4. So now we understand there's clean foods. There's unclean foods, brothers and sisters. There was a dietary law in place. Okay. And the Lord first gave us vegetation to, as our food. Then in Genesis 9, he introduced meat. All meats? No. Certain Lawful meats, brothers and sisters, okay? First Timothy 4 and 1. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. And that's the problem here, brothers and sisters. Some of us are going to depart from the faith that we're in right now of following God's laws. We're going to go and say, oh, it's lawful to uh, eat chicken on Passover. It's lawful to smoke weed now. It's lawful to have two, three wives, okay? That's what's going to happen. That's what the Bible says. Read on. Giving heed to Giving seduce. heed. Listening to what? To seducing spirits. The seducing spirits sound very good to you. Go ahead. They, and, scr they scratch your itch. Go ahead. And doctrines of devils. However, they're doctrines of devils. Go ahead. Speaking lies in her. Oh, hold on, hold on. 2 Timothy 3 and 1. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1. Go ahead. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. And we're facing perilous times right now, brothers and sisters. There's a, there's a worldwide shutdown, uh, coronavirus going on, different viruses. Um, still, things are still going on in the earth. Go ahead. 
For men shall be lovers of their own selves. And that's what we're seeing now. Go ahead. Covetous. Covetous. Are, are we a covetous people? Yes. We will betray our brother for some money, mm-hmm. just for some bills to get paid. We will betray each other for that. Go ahead. Boasters. Are we boasters? Yes. Proud. Are we proud in going against God's laws and our own little itty-bitty knowledge? Yes. Blasphemers. Do do our people blaspheme? Yes. Disobedient to parents. Uh-huh. Unthankful. Unthankful. Ungrateful. Unholy. Unholy. Without natural affection. Without natural affection for your brother or your sister. Truth breakers. Go ahead. False accusers. Uh-huh. Slanderers. Incontinent. Uh-huh. Fierce. Malicious. Despisers of those that are Despise good. Despisers of those that are good. Go ahead. Traitors. Betrayers. Go ahead. Heady. Uh-huh. High-minded. Uh-huh. Lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Go ahead. Having a form of godliness. Our people have a form of godliness. That's why they're in church every Sunday, and all of them know that one scripture. Well, every creature of God is good. I could eat them pork, them pork, crab, shrimp, and lobster. I could do what I want. I could do it. That's what they think. That scripture is embedded in our people's minds right there. Go ahead. Having a form of godliness. But denying the power thereof. But denying the laws of God. That's what our people do. We deny the laws of God. Go ahead. From such, turn away. The Bible says turn away from that man right there. That man or woman, turn away from them. Do not bid them God speak. Now go back to 1 Timothy 4. Go back. Now read verse 2. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. Speaking lies in hypocrisy. That's the Christian church right there. They speak lies and they're hypocrites. Okay? Speaking lies in hypocrisy. They sing songs. They clap their hands. They pass that plate around. But they do all manners of evil against the Bible, even though they have the Bible in the church with them. Go ahead. Having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Forbidding to marry uh-huh. and commanding to abstain from meats. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats. Go ahead. Which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe Uh-oh. and know the truth. Wait a minute. It says forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of who? Of them which believe. Stop. Of them which believe. Give me Sirach 32 and 17. What does it mean to believe? If you believe in something and you have faith in something, should you perform some kind of action to prove your belief? Let's see what the Bible says. No, uh, 24. Ecclesiasticus chapter 32, verse 24. He that believeth. He that believes, believeth. In the Lord. Uh Uh-huh. Taketh heed to the commandment. Wait, wait, if you believe you're going to do what? Taketh heed to the commandment. You are going to do God's laws, brothers and sisters. You're not going to look for an itching ear. Uh, uh, you got itching ears, and you want to you want to pass it a scratch and tell you, oh, God's laws are done away with you. You can do what you want. Don't listen to them, to them boys on the corner talking about don't eat that pork, crab, shrimp, lobster. You could do it all. Don't worry about that. Pass me the barbecue sauce over there. Okay? No. We, read that again. Read that again, officer. He that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandment. That's what God said. If you believe, you're going to do, you're going to perform the actions to show that you are a believer. Okay? Go ahead. And he that trusteth in him shall fear never the worst. So if you trust in the Lord, you're going to fear never the worst. Go back and read that again. 1 Timothy 4 and 3, I think it was, right? Yes, sir. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3. Uh-huh. Forbidding to marry. Forbidding to marry. And commanding to abstain that's from. Forbidding to marry. That's your Catholic priest. That's them child molesting that Catholic priest, uh, um, Catholic church right there. They don't marry. They would rather be, be unmarried and touch the little altar boys. <laughs> that's what they do. They, they've been scandals for years and years and decades now. Centuries now. Okay? And they're still in power. Go ahead. And commanding to abstain from meats. Read. Which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving. That, that, there goes your Lent, where you, where you take something, where, where you uh, fast for something. Go ahead. Which God hath what? Which God hath created. Which God hath created. To be received. To be received. With thanksgiving. Uh-huh. Of them which believe. Of them which believe. Them which believe are going to do what? Keep God's laws. Go ahead. 
and know the truth. What is the truth, brothers and sisters? Psalms 119 and 142. Let's get it. What is the truth? It said, God have created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. What is the truth, brother? Psalm chapter 119, verse 142. Uh-huh. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Read. And thy law is the truth. The Bible says what? Thy what? Thy law is the truth. The Bible says the law, the law, L-A-W, the law of God is the truth. Go back now. Now we're getting, now we should be understanding what's going on here. Now read verse 4 now. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 4. For every creature of God is good. Ah, there you go again. Every creature of God is good. I could eat that poke. I could eat that. I could eat that crab, that catfish. Right? If that's the case, then I could eat this brother's arm. Right? I could be a cannibal, can I? Go ahead. For every creature of God is good. Uh-huh. And nothing to be refused. And nothing to be refused. If it be whoa, re- whoa, whoa, slow down. If 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 it be received with thanksgiving. If it be received with thanksgiving. Keep reading. For it is sanctified by the word of God. Wait a God. minute. Wait a minute. What does the word sanctified mean, brothers and sisters? It means cleansed. What is made clean? By what? Made clean. Made, it is sanctified by the word of God. Where in the word of God is, are the foods sanctified? Let's go to Leviticus. Let's find out, brothers and sisters. Where, is the, where in the Bible, the word of God, is the foods sanctified? Let's find out. Uh, Leviticus 11 and 44. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 44. For I am the Lord your God. Uh-huh. Ye shall therefore sanctify yourselves. There goes that word again. Sanctify yourself. Cleanse yourselves. Go ahead. And ye shall be holy. That's what makes a, a person holy. If you sanctify yourself. Okay. If you separate yourself from the ways of the world. Go ahead. For I am holy. Uh-huh. Neither shall ye defile yourselves with any manner of creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. But wait a minute. Remember, the Bible says the creeping things on the earth were good. Was it good for food or was it good for a certain function that God created that animal for, brothers and sisters? It was good for that function, okay? Not for meat, for your body. Go ahead. For I am the Lord that bringeth you up out of the land of Egypt to be your God. Ye shall therefore be holy. Ye shall therefore be holy or separate. For I am holy. Read. This is the law of the beast. This is the law of the beasts. And of the fowl, Uh and of every living creature that moveth in the waters, and of every creature that creepeth upon the earth. To do what? To make a difference. To make a difference. Between the unclean and the clean. To make a difference, brothers and sisters, between the unclean and the clean. A difference between what you can eat and what you cannot eat. Go ahead. And between the beast that may be eaten. And between the animal that may be eaten. And the beast that may not be eaten. And the be beast eaten. that may not be eaten, brothers and sisters. Hold that. Give me Ezekiel 22 and 26, I believe it is. And that's the last scripture, brothers and sisters. Is that it? 22 and 26. Yes, that's it. Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 26. So, But here's the problem with the mentality of our people in the church. They have that scripture embedded in their minds. And remember, we just read, it's seared in their head like a hot iron, okay? When you iron your clothes and you burn that clothing, that clothing is altered. You cannot get that fabric back the way it was. It's done. That's what the Bible says our minds are like when we follow Christianity, brothers and sisters. Go ahead, read it. Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 26. Her priests have violated my law. Her priests her pastors, her ministers have done what? Violated my law. That's what the Bible says, brothers and sisters. Go ahead. And have profaned my holy things. Uh-huh. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. There's no difference now between the clean and the unclean. Because why? Because we think every creature of God is good means you can eat anything you want, brothers and sisters. Read it again. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. Uh Uh-huh. Neither have they showed difference between the unclean 
and the clean. You can eat anything you want. Go ahead. And have hid their eyes from my Sabbath. That's why you keep Sunday worship, not the real Sabbath, which is Saturday. Friday sundown to Saturday Sunday. Go ahead. And I am profaned among and them. And God is profaned among you when you don't keep his laws, brothers and sisters. So that's 15 minutes with the captains, brothers and sisters. I'm Captain Amaziah. Over say okay now. And we say shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how we're men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.